Welcome to Johnny Arcade. Right, we're going to do a couple, sh multiple shorter readings for you at this time. Just going to kind of see what comes out. Go from there. Hope all is well. Thank you all for your uh, support. Welcome back to returning viewers. Welcome to the new viewers. Hope all is well with you at this time. God, I'd like to place a hedge of protection above and below and all around this and the future readings. Uh, please clear, cleanse these cards of any previous energies, residual energies um, from any previous readings. I ask that you please uh, break any spells, curses, hexes, demonic, satanic, witchcraft, attachments, assignments, uh, all seen and unseen, known and unknown. I ask that you break them free right now, O oh Lord, and send them straight for your feet, to your feet for you to do with as you will, including all backups and replacements and backups and replacements of those backups and replacements and backups and replacements of those backups and replacements times infinity. Uh, Shay, and so it is. Thank you. Amen. Please place a blue hedge of, or blue flame of protection around this hedge from St. Michael the Archangel to ward off any additional attacks of the enemy and continue to guide us in your light and love, O oh Lord. Thank you, Ashe, so it is, amen. All right. I appreciate y'all, let's see what the cards have to say. Five of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. You might be going through a situation of lack at this time. Maybe feeling alone or like you're going at something alone. Could be something to do with family, intermediate family. Three of Pentacles, yeah, you've been through some emotional pain because and suffering, either due to family members or about family members. I see a, a husband, a wife, and a daughter in this Three of Pentacles. But then I see this Five of Pentacles, sad and crying and alone, no motivation. Looks kind of like the little girl in the Three of Pentacles grown up. Looks like the same girl in the Three of Swords. So this girl, this feminine energy has been going through some heartache and pain in regards to her family. Three of Wands, I feel like she's trying to find her purpose or just trying to mind her own business, do her own thing, and having a difficult time doing that. I feel like she's trying to find a man who speaks truth, or a man has spoken truth to this female, maybe inspired her to start doing things that she loves, to find out what she loves, to have more free time to herself. But we've got the hermit in reverse. So I feel like this isolation this female is going through isn't really... Um, it's like she's not really seeing the healing, but I feel like she's going through a uh, dark night of the soul with this death card here. That or it's like <clears throat> the isolation is coming to an end and it's time to group together with your soul tribe. But I see someone who went from having a family element to being alone, being heartbroken, hearing some sort of truth refusing to reflect on it or whatever, maybe kept going her own way, kept hearing signs from God, messages from God on what to do, didn't do it, or um, or maybe you are doing it and it's taking you down this sorrowful path, but you know it's, you should be to this point with this death card, realizing that it's happening for you, not to you, for a greater good for you and everyone around you, possibly in this family element. What it comes down to is we all have free will, and some of us choose certain things, some of us choose other things. Um, 
I heard recently that it's better to get slapped with the truth with the truth than kissed by a lie, and I can't resonate with that anymore. I mean, a thousand percent agree with that statement. I'd rather get slapped with the truth than kissed by a lie. Look, so we've got death and the devil and eight of wands. It's all coming together. All the manipulation tactics, all the things that those people who hurt you or divided your family or were trying to divide your family or within your family that caused division, uh, that's all coming to an end. That or just realization, the things that they did coming to reality, becoming clear, causing the pain and the heartache. You know, just through the realization of who's who, what's what, who's choosing what, who's going where, and where they stand with that line in the sand, right? Three of Cups and the Emperor in reverse. I feel like whoever this King of Swords is, I think he's coming up as the Emperor in reverse. I feel like he was... Uh, telling truths to this three of wands, this female who's been up and down, going through, finding out what makes them happy or trying to stay happy and they're not in their current situation. This female turned their back on this king of swords and went towards either karmic friends or friends that don't know the whole story or whatever, but whatever, she turned her back on this emperor as if he wasn't an emperor. I feel like she knew he was an emperor and she still was not ready or healed or ready for commitment. She chose her, her girlfriends instead. She chose girlfriends who probably don't ever want her to be with an emperor. They want her to stay single or tied up in whatever previous relationship they were in. They want her sad so that She's there, the friends that she goes to when things aren't okay. We've got Queen of Pentacles in reverse underneath that Emperor. I feel like people were telling her that this Emperor, again, lying on this Emperor, they don't know this Emperor. She was getting to know this Emperor, seeing him as the Emperor, and they're trying to blur her vision, trying to say that he's not good for you, he just wants your money. Uh, or he's going to take all your money. Truth is, if this is an emperor, the two of you would be making so much money, it'd be stupid. We've got the hanged man in reverse. So again, there's being kept stuck from making that choice. Or constantly convinced, or convinced, uh, convinced not to go to this guy. Convincing her that he is not the guy for her. Knight of Wands. So just do you and be happy. And um, again, you're not seeing the battle. Like you don't realize whoever this feminine is doesn't realize that everyone's fighting for her attention. They're fighting as they want her in their life because she brings abundance. She brings high energy. She's a, she's a freaking high priestess from what I understand. But none of that's coming out because she's not happy, you know. She's not the high priestess or anything like that. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. This is someone who's solely focused on, on work right now. She might be distracted by love or whatever, but she's choosing to just stay focused on her work and hanging out with her friends. And she's always in this mood of reflecting back and wishing things were different. Being a little disappointed with the outcomes, the manifestations. Crazy how these colors on these two cards are so similar. Work, wish, repeat. Work, wish, repeat is what I'm seeing here. Work, wish, repeat. Constantly just being disappointed by what manifests. Ten of Swords, which is that nightmares, loss of sleep. But in this card, I love how this card portrays it. It's more like a woman wandering, 
reflecting on the thoughts and words and things that were said and spoken either to her, about her, around her, about the emperor, and just kind of allowing her detachment, her break from the hustle and bustle of social norms to just kind of connect and put together all the truth, connect all the dots in their own time, you know. This could be also like with this Eight of Pentacles next to the Ten of Swords. I'm getting like, she's, this woman has many ideas. Her moods change with the, with the moon and, and its position, its rotation, the stars aligning kind of affect this woman's work ethic, her play ethic, her ability to earn. Uh, she's very in tune with that, but I feel like she likes to keep herself distracted. So that she's never in this pain state. But that's the thing. This is her way of coping with the pain. So it's almost like she's just comfortably numb. Whether she's turning to a substance or maybe her her drug is work itself. But she sees herself as not abundant. She sees herself as or that or she's getting herself out of this lack mindset. Um, could have lost a job could have got demoted, might have to come up with clever ways to make an additional dollar at this time, which again, just makes her more busy, unable to really detach. Just kind of caught up in the hustle bustle is what I'm getting, caught up in the hustle bustle. I did not want to pull this many cards. I did not want to pull this many cards. Um, we can close it out, let's see. What does this woman need to focus on? What about that emperor in reverse? Like, is she considering giving him a call, going back to him? I don't know. He was speaking some truth, but he's kind of out in the cold right now. The truth hurts. Probably slapped her with the truth. She's, she's used to getting slapped, and she can deal with that. She can't deal with emotional slapping. We've got nine of pentacles. That's happy. That's... Um, entrepreneur, that's self-starter, go-getter, who finds love in what it is they do, but we've got the lovers in reverse. So I feel like whatever she chose, whatever career path or whatever she's doing for money now, it's not fulfilling. It's not what she loves to do. She might be very good at it. Doesn't mean she's happy or loves what she's doing. So does she need to escape? Does she need to go a different direction? I already know where this is going after seeing what card flew out. Yeah, it's time to focus. And we've got the Six of Wands in reverse. There's something else this person would rather be doing that they are feeling um, drawn to do. Some sort of performance or teacher or leadership position. Or just some celebrity status, star status. But I feel like you're, this person's afraid to get started or afraid, has stage fright or something. I feel like once this person steps out on that stage, they will find it comforting. Queen of Wands in reverse. This is definitely about this feminine. This whole reading is about this feminine energy. Yeah, there's an emperor in the story, but he's not the main character. The main character is this, this female. I feel like that Three of Swords is her not knowing what makes her happy or not being able to fulfill that happiness because of whatever she went through. She had this, you know, what she thought was a happy family. Turns out she was left out in the cold, left on her own. She's trying to find self-love or has found self-love, but she's still not happy. She's not happy. So she's kind of wondering what's next or asking the universe, what's next? I'm tired of this you know, I wanted this job. I know, I, you know, I prayed for this job. I got the job. I'm really good at the job, but I'm still not happy. I need love. I need real love 
Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I feel like she gave up some sort of connection for this work. She chose work or money over love. Ace of Cups in reverse. And yeah, now her cup is empty. She thought this was fulfilling. She thought she would be happy. And now that she's doing it and successful at it, she doesn't feel successful. She feels kind of, again, alone. She, this person could even be surrounded by people and feels alone. Because again, slapped by the truth or kissed by lies. I feel like this person chose to be kissed by lies. 21, the world. Yeah, now I'm hearing, tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Like, tell me, tell me lies. Someone wants to live in a world of fake, a fake world. That or they, that's what they're used to and they're ascending out of that because the woman in the middle of this world card is like seeing Rukawas and tetrahedrons and seeing things from different perspectives. That square is a cube within a cube, not a square. That pyramid is two pyramids inverted. That hexagon is that same tetrahedron from a different angle. Seeing everything for what it is. The whole picture, the big picture, the complete picture. So what do they do? What do they do? Just a couple cards from Time Traveler's Wife and then I'm gonna get into a different reading. Channel, try to pick up a different energy. Not try, will, but sometimes it continues on. Despite my efforts or my intentions. So let's see. Just a couple time traveler's wife cards. Can, honey, can you can you speak to this feminine? As a from one divine feminine to another. Can you give her some advice if someone is going through this? Or just more clarity so they can make their own design decision. this reading is is to wake you up to what's going on so that you can make your own decision decision using your own discernment honey bunches of oats if you would please thank you mr. sandman bring me a dream Death, so that's twice death has come out. I don't know if it's end of a bad dream or this bad dream can end when you choose to put it to an end or end of the dreams, hurtful, manipulative. I think it's, a, yeah, it's an end of this hurtful, manipulative uh, female from dream to reality manifest. Yeah, look, right underneath Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. I don't know if this woman we've been talking about this whole time is hurtful and manipulative. Maybe they are um, here to break generational curses. They've been hurt and manipulated, making them bitter, hurtful, and manipulative. And so we're all healing from this. That or this woman, whether it was from a mother figure or just a female friend who was hurtful and manipulative, this person has been hurt and manipulated and is bitter because of it. I feel like it's coming to an end. Conquest in reverse. Coming to an end, we're not quite there though. This is going on as we speak, I believe. Trying to manifest, someone's, that or someone's trying to manifest that this woman be looked at as if she's hurtful, manipulative, and bitter. Um, but that's not the reality of the situation. The truth will set you free. The truth will slap you hard. <laughs> the lies will kiss you nice and soft. We've got rejection is your divine protection. Couldn't have said it better myself. 
Dark side of the moon. That's that queen of wands. Those are those lies, secrets, deceit. Yeah, this woman just won't come clean. End of the road, Rumpelstiltskin. Time to pay your dues. Like I said, this person might have wished for a certain job opportunity and got it. And re acquiring that job could have resulted in having to pay some sort of initiation fee. One-time fee. And... Um, I feel like that fee involves a little bit more than $29.99. I think um, it's time to pay up for the karma tied to this entrepreneurial endeavor. Strong, smart, caring father. I'm feeling this is that King of Swords energy, that Emperor energy up here. It's the end, that or it's the end of the road for this small, strong, smart, caring father. Hopefully, because if he's going through the hurt, the pain, and the manipulative, and he's bitter, I think it's time for that to come to an end. It's time for everyone to be happy. So like I said, I think changes are taking effect. Rejection is your divine protection. Consider that. The universe telling you what is and what is not for you. If you're, not, if you're refusing to come to terms with the truth, God's going to force it right we got pain and suffering and we've got holy spirit faith love hope energy the glue in reverse so again whatever is causing this pain and suffering whatever that common denominator is or whatever it's it's breaking loose there's no more pain and suffering or moving forward because there is god this person was trying to get this feminine or this masculine to believe that there is no God. Like, where's your God now? You know, where's your God when you need him? And God's showing up. They want you to think otherwise. They want you to believe there is no God. Negative Nancy, Debbie Downer. I read the news today, oh boy. So I'm getting, yeah, there's going to be news coming out. There, if this isn't the news itself, that... This is coming to an end. The pain is coming to an end. You're manifesting your dreams to reality. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Put a death, put an end to this old nightmare. It's time for my new dream. I'm tired of being hurt, manipulated, and bitter. I'm tired of the war, the conquest for this crown that means nothing. It's a crown of thorns. We've got dark side of the moon with the secrets and the lies. Rejection is your divine protection. If someone's lying to you, or even if they're just not telling you the truth and you can't have a conversation with them, well, then they're still lying to you about something. And do you want to be seduced by those lies? Or would you rather fall in love with someone who holds the truth? Is what it comes down to. So I'm going to leave this there. If you ain't heard it today, know that you are awesome. You've got at least one dude out there praying for you. God bless you and your beautiful families. And stick around because there's going to be more readings. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.